Hey guys, welcome to my channel! Oh yeah, it's Twin Flames Divine Masculine reading. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. You guys, well, gals, mostly, according to YouTube analytics, roughly 87% gals and the rest gang. So what's up? 13% gah and 87% chica. What's going on out there? And yes, I'm a gah. And I myself am what you call divine feminine row. Yep, that's me. I am so-called Divine Feminine. My twin flame, who is a female, is so-called Divine Masculine. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome. I guess I've got a different angle for you, a different perspective. And, you know, I'm a guy, and I've always been somebody who really likes science and technology and math and physics and all that kind of stuff. And wouldn't you know it, I've also always been a very spiritual person, so to speak. It's kind of an oxymoron to call yourself a spiritual person. That's a philosophical landmine right there, but I digress. <laughs> just to keep this brief, we'll just say I'm spiritual in quotation marks. What does that mean? Well, I recognize that you cannot make an identity out of that, and the only reason that I say I'm spiritual is to impart some kind of a, you know, uh, who I am, tell you about what I've done with my life, right? Meditation, I've had all kinds of really powerful consciousness expanding experiences, etc., etc., and that doesn't make me special. So I just really hate calling myself spiritual because I understand, like, you can't actually identify as spiritual, but I digress. Here's where I'm going with this. Your twin flame, you're tired of the running and the chasing. You're tired of the ghosting and the blocking. Well, I've got news for you. I'm not tired of it because it's not happening. It's not happening. My twin flame is permanently in my life. And here's another fucking awesome thing. I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. I'm not saying that to brag, I promise. And I don't even expect you to buy anything from me at all. There's a whole bunch of free shit on my channel actually. And I'm always encouraging people to go take advantage of all the free shit all over my YouTube channel. I'm the world's leading twin flame coach. I've coached over 4,000 students. I've caused more unions than any other twin flame coach in the world. Yeah, you should go watch my free coaching videos. Wouldn't that be awesome? Go watch my free coaching videos and find out what it's all about. Let me tell you something. Nothing in the universe can exist that can't be explained in some way. Not a thing, period. Even consciousness itself. Even if that means we look at a thing like consciousness, which technically cannot be understood, and we say exactly that. And physicists, they find themselves saying things like that all the time in their line of work. Here's something that can't be understood, but it can be quantified. And you're like, what do you mean by that? If it can't be understood, how can you quantify it? Oh, well, very interesting. It's because math. Anyway, guys, Science is really cool. Spiritualism is, is, is really cool. And I'm all about, about it, guys. I love to combine those two things, especially when it comes to the twins, because gosh darn it, you can make a lot of really cool observations when you work with twin flames. And I've worked with a lot of them, guys, 4,000. That's a lot of information. Look at this, queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. The truth right up your ass. And I ain't playing. I'm going to tell you how it is. I'm a nice person. I'm fair. All right? But don't feed me any bullshit. I'm going to point this sword right at your face and tell you that's some bullshit. 
Divine masculine, don't you think it's interesting how the King of Swords comes out over here? This is going to be a reading to remember, a reading to remember. Some very interesting major arcana in this reading. Two of Cups at the heart of the reading. Guys, Divine Masculine, big, 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 big changes. Big changes. Why? Because you're changing, Divine Feminine. You are your twin flame. Look at this. Okay. Judgment. Recent past. This is the universe sticking its boot all the way up Divine Masculine's ass. All the way. Okay. The universe, you're gonna do this thing I want you to do, Divine Masculine, and you ain't getting out of it, all right? You're not getting out of it, dude. What is it? Well, first of all, if you can do something about your life situation that you're so fucking miserable about, Page of Wands, Seven of Cups in reverse, stop acting like you don't have other options, bro. What is your deal, Divine Masculine? You know you don't have to stay in that situation. You're not, you got two hands, two eyes, and two ears. Use them. Use them. Hello, McFly. Hello. Think, McFly. Think. Now, towards you, Divine Feminine. Oh, they got urges. Boy, do they. Four of Wands next to the Eight of Wands in reverse. Now, this is where the rubber hits the road. You, Divine Feminine. Why would they be resisting this urge to move quickly and move on you? Why are they always in this kind of standoffish energy with you, right? Does that make sense? It's like they want to be with you. They want to come in and hold your hand, talk to you, whatever. You always get the sense from them that they want something more, but they don't do it. <laughs> you ever get that from your twin? Of course you do. It happens to almost every single one of you. You're talking to them and you can tell they want more, but they don't fucking do it. They don't do it. Why? Well, it's because Divine Feminine, they are another incarnation of your soul. And you are sitting there thinking about all this stuff, Divine Feminine, okay? And you're approaching this through the mind, the ego, the personality. And here's what I learned about the technology of Twin Flames. You are polarized with your Twin Flame at the level of the mind. And that shouldn't come as any surprise because the mind itself is polarization, yin-yang, light-dark, left-right, positive-negative, duality. And in ancient Zen spiritualism, that is exactly what they call the mind, duality. I like it, I don't like it. Yin-yang, light-dark, I feel good, I feel bad. It's love, it's fear. I love you, I don't love you. I'm going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Past, future, me, you, etc. right? Duality, okay? So when you approach your twin flame through the mental constructs of the mind, bam, they take off running or they resist you. They reject you. And remember, your twin flame is your soul. You are one being. You are one being with this person. And you are starting to realize that. That's why you're having all these really cool breakthroughs. That's why the Two of Cups comes out at the center of the reading, Divine Feminine. You are the conscious twin. You're starting to realize, wait a minute. It's like I have control over this connection. Exactly. And it's not really control that you have because it's not a connection. You are them. You are the same soul. The mind is polarized. The mind is duality. It is what it is but you are the same soul with them. And it's funny because when you relinquish control, that's when they show up. That's the quote unquote control you have is to actually let them go. Look at this, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. Okay, lots and lots and lots of self-love. Divine Masculine finally had the boot all the way up their ass. And now, they're starting to finally figure it out. I deserve happiness. I deserve greatness. I deserve a better life situation, a better job, a better relationship. I deserve whatever, money, time, success. I'm not a piece of crap. I don't have to live through my fucking ego anymore. You know, even like if your divine masculine has been, you know, I, I see this a lot. Like, oh yeah, they're such a narcissist. Get ready for a change, guys. They can't ignore what the universe is showing them anymore. And they're going to start speaking the truth like this Queen of Swords. 
That's the thing about the Queen of Swords, guys, is she is a truth teller. It's not just showing you the truth. It's a truth teller. Divine Masculine, you're going to see them singing a very different tune very, very soon, Divine Feminine. So get ready. Look at this. Okay, towards you, Divine Feminine, current energy, Ten of Cups, and the Four of Cups in reverse. So, Divine Masculine having many breakdowns because they feel like they ruined shit with you. They fucked it up. And they're kind of panicking and they don't know what they're going to do. So, expect apologies from your Twin Flame. Expect them to come to terms with who they really are as a person and that they do deserve something good. And that so do you. That might not mean they're going to come screaming in, ready to be with you right now. This could be a process of healing for them. But so be it. At least they're fucking thinking outside the box. Why? Because you are divine feminine. Remember, you are your twin flame. You are one soul. So the higher your consciousness, the more that they start to move towards you. Guys, I've got students that they, they're twin, when they come to me, when they join my program, or even if they just watch my free coaching videos on YouTube, you can go, there's hundreds of free coaching videos. Go watch them, guys. They're twin flame when they show up to, and they start talking to me, the teacher, Kurt, right? They're telling me, oh yeah, my twin flame, they've got me blocked. A month later, I teach them all these things about how you're a soul and how the mind works and how to get out of your mind and align with your soul, which is your twin flame. And their twin flame unblocks them like magic, guys. It's very simple. This is your spiritual awakening and you just need to treat it that way. That's all this is, guys. Go to my website. You can read testimonials from my students if you would care to, who are with their twin flame, having amazing spiritual breakthroughs. And their life will never be the same, guys. There's a whole shitload of testimonials on my website. There's also testimonials all over my YouTube channel, success story videos. You can see comments pinned to the top of all my YouTube videos. And you can sign up yourself for my paid coaching program. There's my free coaching on the YouTube channel. Yes, indeed. But if you want the full Monty, if you want the whole burrito, if you want the good stuff, Without any stops, pull out all the stops, everything, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, go to my website and sign up for the introduction to the journey today. Guys, it's not thousands of dollars, and I'm never going to charge thousands of dollars. Fuck that shit. It's very affordable, guys, and you get hooked up so fat. Over 10 hours of instructional videos that you can watch over and over and over again. I will give you action steps you can implement right now to shut down the obsessive thinking and get your twin flame to unblock you. And yes, I'm dead serious. It happens all the time. When you're done watching the video course, you and I get a talk either in a one-on-one -on -one or in a group setting. There's myself or my two coaches assisting me that you can talk to if I'm not available. My two coaches are little carbon copies of yours truly. Please talk to us. We're happy to answer all of your questions. Everything is done anonymously. Sign up today, guys. You get two months with the gold package, two months of the coaching calls. Sign up today, you guys. It's not expensive, and that's not all. That's not all. If you cannot afford my already very low prices, no problem. I've got payment plans. You can start for 60 or 70 bucks. You heard it right, 60 or $70, six low payments of 60 or $70, and you're in like Flynn. You get full access with your first payment. You do save $50 when you pay in full versus the payment plan, but no problem. If you got 60 bucks in your pocket, 60 or 70 bucks, and you're raring to go, sign up today, guys. It's still super affordable. All right, Divine Masculine. What's it gonna be, my friend? Uh... Uh, no, maybe it is. Yeah, it's definitely one of the... Ah, uh, yeah, it's that one. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's it going to be, my friend? Ladies and gentle femmes, you hold the key to an awakened life. Hello, Divine Feminine. What have I been telling you? What have I been telling you? You are the master. You are your twin flame. You are one being. You are one soul. They are you. You just have to approach this through the soul. You got to do soul stuff. Message. There are dreams you wish would never end. 
like when you're finally getting into the groove of flying, making love to an amazing dream partner, or winning the lottery. Take heart in knowing these dreams aren't over just because you wake up. While you remember your dream, it remains alive and well. It can even grow to become larger and more substantial over time. All the events that take place in your daytime and nighttime dreams are attempts to awaken your core strengths, gifts, and genius. Remembering who you are, thus valuing who you are, is the key to living an awakened life. You wake up when you consciously remember, put back together, right? Remember, right? Remember, membering things together, right? Put back together. You wake up when you consciously remember your true identity as an infinite spiritual being, powerful beyond measure, and heir to all the blessings this earth has to offer. Guys, this isn't a fucking illusion. No, you're not crazy. Okay, everybody knows that the soul incarnates. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that the soul incarnates. Your twin flame is just another incarnation of your soul. Your soul is just trying to get you to wake up. Wake up! You are not your mind. You are not your personality. You are consciousness. And again, you embrace that, that's when your twin flame shows up, guys. It's so simple. And guess what? The Eight of Cups, and understand this about the Eight of Cups. It's a positive card, guys. This is one of the most misunderstood cards in the entire tarot deck. You're not moving on from something painful. You're leaving something behind that was good for you and it was fine. But you got something better. You're moving towards. You got a lot out of this experience, those cups. Those are some full cups, guys. Thank you. I bless that experience. But I'm moving on. Amicable end amicable separation to the karmic situation, strength and the 10 of pentacles. Thank you, karmic situation for all the lessons learned, but I gotta be who I am. And then towards you, divine feminine, I can't fucking wait. I can't fucking wait. No, I'm not gonna be patient. I'm gonna come in with a surge of sexual and passionate energy. Seven of pentacles in reverse and the king of swords. Get ready, guys. Divine masculine is gonna be chasing your tail. That's a beautiful thing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon button when you subscribe. Because if you don't hit the bell button when you subscribe, you will not get notifications whenever I post one of my beautiful videos. So please hit that bell button. Thank you very much for watching. Have a happy Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow for another super awesome spiritualized video because we're spiritual I'm spiritual I'm so spiritual